guys welcome to the show it's going to take a different format today and please ignore my raspy voice i was out turning it all the way up last weekend it was a long weekend with so many activities labor day weekend and i refuse to carry last i will not carry last in this life so sunday was the nigeria entertainment awards and i had the privilege of presenting two awards thank you we're trying to move this career forward, please. I presented with the humble prince and Dolakpo Adedakpo. But please, shout out to my stylist for the weekend, Yewande Ogundare. She hooked me up real good. How can't you see how hot I look? Oh, Lord. You guys should please hit her up on the gram at Yewande O. So, I'm having two guests today. First is Ebony Live TV presenter. She's also a blogger and a stylevitae.com contributor. <laughs> Her column is called For the Life of Mimi. You guys should check it out. I'm talking about Mimi or not Laja. We'll be breaking down the red carpet looks from the Nigeria Entertainment Awards. And later, one of the baddest female DJs in Nigeria right now, signed to Chocolate City Music. Yes, DJ Lambo. She'll be joining me as well. She was nominated in the best female DJ category at the NEAs. We'll talk about that and how she's faring as a female DJ. Looking forward to speaking with her. Okay. This is why I welcome you properly by saying welcome to The Gist. I'm your host, Toyo C. Phillips. The Gist. guys welcome back thank you for staying tuned so with me in the studio is Mimi Onolaja I told you guys about her earlier but I would introduce her again she is an Ebony Live TV presenter she's also a blogger and a stylevitae.com contributor she does all this fashion something <laughs> and she has a column in stylevitae.com called for the life of Mimi you guys should check it out but thank you so much for being here Mimi thank you thank you for having <laughs> me I'm very excited oh yes I'm glad to have you here okay you are the NEAs yes and with you. With me. <laughs> yes, you're with me. And I just thought, like, okay, who better to break down the fashion scene of the NEAs with than you, right? Oh, wow. Oh, yes. wow. You know how and to make it go feel good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And really, really, I'm really happy that you're here. So, first of all, what was your overall impression of the NEAs? The show the or show the itself? fashion? The show. The show itself. Um, My honest opinion? Honest opinion. <laughs> I mean, I think there were some enjoyable moments, okay. but it's the NEAs has been on for 10 years now. Yes. I honestly feel like it could have been better mm. in terms of time management, in terms of organization, you mm. know, and in terms of the quality of the performances. But then I don't know if that's an NEA problem or if the I need to direct that to the artists themselves. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, I, it, I enjoyed the show. There okay. was lots of enjoyable moments, lots of funny moments, but... <laughs> Six and a half, seven over ten. Seven, seven over ten, okay. Yeah. Let's talk about the fashion scene. Okay. Who stood out to you the most? Like, if you had to pick one person mm. who was, like, the best dressed, killed it, apart from me, obviously. And, and me. <laughs> and you. You looked beautiful. I'm just kidding. See this picture. You looked so beautiful. That is so true. That thank is so true. you. Thank but, okay, you. Okay, let's talk about other people. This is not yeah, a it's not, show. Yeah, it's not about yes. us. Who stood out? Whose outfit stood out to mm. you? If you'd let me, I'd like to pick a guy and a lady. Sure, um, sure. So for the ladies, I think Yemi Alade definitely stood out to me. Mm, First yes. off, because I love Iconic in Vanity. Yes. Their pieces yeah. are amazing. Yeah. The intricacy and the detailing on their pieces are just to die for. Yes. So yes, Yemi Alade in that very simple black floor length dress. dress yeah. And the, was it yellow and blue? Yellow, blue and white beaded, beaded cape yes. over it. Yeah. That worked, that worked. And I like that she made it her own with her hair. Yeah. So she had, I'm not sure what they call, what, what that's called. I don't know if it's called Bantu knots. All the naturalistas yeah. out there would, <laughs> would know better. But I mean, I like that she made it her own with her hair and her personality. It hindered her performance though. Now, I don't know if she knew she was going to perform, but I was looking forward to seeing Yemi Alade perform. Everybody to be honest. was. Like the energy, I hear, she, I hear she kills it on the mm -hmm. stage and I've never seen her perform. So I was actually looking forward to that. Yes. But then the dress hindered that. It did. And that. I mean, this brings us back to the NEAs in general. Now, I don't know if to direct this complaint to Yemi Alade or to the NEAs. Now, did she know she was going to perform, perform. you know? Did she, was she told while she was there? And I mean, if she was told while she was there, then, then she then, did the yeah. best that she could. Yeah. Yes, the dress was a little tight. Yes. And it did hinder her movements. Mm -hmm. But it's fashion. Sometimes you have, some things have to give. Okay. <laughs> okay for the guys, who stood out the For most? the guys. 
Uh, the person that stood out for me the most and was probably a little surprising to me in a way was Swanky Jerry. Oh. I say surprising because I would have expected um, some of the male nominees to bring it a lot more. Mm. Um, okay. But it's not so surprising because Swanky Jerry is a stylist. Yes. So we wouldn't expect anything less. He looked dapper. He did. He, he did. I mean, the dark blue suit, yeah. it was well tailored. It fit him perfectly. Yeah. With the pop of color, with the yellow waistcoat. Yeah. Then the glasses. Yeah. Then even down to the side part on his hair. <laughs> okay. I think he, I think he killed it. And he styled Ice, Ice Prince. Ice Prince oh, yeah. was one of the hosts. Mm -hmm. It was Ice Prince and Osas who hosted the event, and Ice Prince looked nice as well. He I did. Think. He he wore two different looks. He yes. had the tailored suit. Mm -hmm. You know, the that was for the the first the, look, yeah, first and look. it was a good first look. Yeah. And then he went full on Ice Prince in an all, <laughs> in an all white. Uh, What's the what's ensemble? The, ha, ha, yeah, thank you. I was looking for like a the um, way the cool kids ensemble. say ensemble an all white ensemble. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what what did you think of Osas's looks? I mean, to be honest, Osas would probably have been my best dressed, hmm. but I just thought since she was the host, like it was bound to happen. Yeah, There's no way she wasn't going to bring it. She looked flawless. Yeah, she did. Flawless. She did. She did. Both her dresses were made by Elegante by Tiana Stylin. Oh. And I think she did an amazing job. Oh. When a host for an event like the NEAs, when a host is about to come out, yeah. you know, everybody wants that <gasps> reaction yes. and, and that's exactly what we got two times. Nice. You know, the first dress was the black dress with mm -hmm. the plunging neckline. Yes. Very sexy. Yeah. She <laughs> kept it very minimal with bare jewelry. I think bare. she didn't she have, earrings have earrings on. on. Yeah, you I know, that. flawless makeup, mm. slicked back hair. She, she, Girl. <laughs> she, did, she, did, she did well. She, she did. was, yeah. She looks good. Okay, so what other looks stood out to you? Uh, okay, so there's DJ Copy. Did, let's talk about DJ Copy's style. And she won the Best Female DJ Award, yeah. by the way, which we're going to talk about. But yeah, DJ Copy is, when I think DJ Copy, I think, okay, first the music and then Ankara. For some reason, she... Yeah. It's like that's her style, right? That is that's her style. Her it's her style. I think DJ Copy is the kind of person, I mean, I'm only saying what I have observed, but yeah. I feel like she's the kind of person that likes something and sticks to something, mm. you know, for a while. That means when, she's risk averse. Uh, is it? That's almost like not trying new things. Not I mean, I don't, new. when it comes to fashion and style, I don't have a problem with you being risk averse. You know, I, I think it's more important for you to know what you like, okay. know what you're comfortable in. And I mean, as long as you look nice all the time, it's fine. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, if you're uncomfortable, you yeah. know, if yeah. the outfit will end up wearing you. Yes, <laughs> and, and you, you wouldn't wear, wear the, the outfit. outfit. So yes, the J-Copy is very known for prints, yes. African prints right now. And um, it can, I know it can, it can seem a bit boring. Mm -hmm. It can see me I mean, this boring. was just like a striped sweater-ish top. Top and a skirt. skirt. I don't have a problem with the look, just not for the NEs. I would have mm. liked to see a little bit more. So she maybe she should have added a bit more sparkle. Okay. You know, okay. maybe something with more beading. Yeah. Okay, who else? Niniola. Yeah. Oh, wait. You know we're here for different things. You're <laughs> here for the fashion. I'm here for the entertainment and the juice. That girl, no, her no. performance was fire. Yeah. I saw her perform twice, back to back, two nights in a row, okay. and she killed it. Shout out to you, Niniola. Shout like, out to you. You're doing your thing, you're you killing are. it, and yes, you're earning your space. Yes. You are earning your space. Absolutely. Okay. Let's, talk about, <laughs> let's talk about what she was wearing. Uh, Niniola was wearing a floor length blue, navy blue dress. Yes. We, we had um, a little bit of ruffles at the, at the, the, at the bottom. And I thought it worked. I thought it worked. I liked her hair. It was shades of black, gray, gray. and blue. Yeah. And I think it complemented her dress really well. It was very tightly curled, you know, and that went very well as well with the ruffles at the bottom. bottom. Nina, last case was another case of the she know she was going to exactly. perform. Exactly, I was just gonna say that because she performed but I mean, she sang her, her heart out. And danced her and body danced off. danced her body off, but it was not as, Yes, as it would have been if, if she, was she was wearing, wearing appropriate clothing different. definitely it was yeah. a little bit awkward to watch to be honest yeah. doing the number that she did in yeah. the outfit that she was wearing mm. but again i will say 
let's give her the benefit of the doubt, doubt and say she did not realize she was going to perform. Yeah. So yes, I liked Niniola's Niniola. look. And I like Niniola the person as well. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have fans here, Niniola. Let me say one person that I like. Okay. A guy. Okay. Praise. Okay. I like <laughs> Praise's look. Okay. Don't say okay. <laughs> no, no, no. What I liked his look. I liked his look as well. I mean, it was guys in the entertainment industry you know rappers singers we expect them to dress in a certain way mm. and praise did that to the NEAs, and he pulled it off the only thing that i kept wondering while i was looking at him was i was wondering if he was hot it's been a really hot summer and he was wearing a leather jacket you know so <laughs> okay, okay mm -hmm. who else who else were you gonna say there's the new girl on the block simi Ah, yes, yes. Beautiful voice. Yes. You told me about her, actually. I didn't really know about her. She, and I'm going to check out her music. You should. Um, she's the new girl on the block. I feel like she needs to, as much as possible, try to make an impression. Every time style. she... Yes, every time she steps out. Yeah. She looked good. She looked cute. You know, she... I like that she kept it, her colors monotone. I with the same color shoes. But... I didn't really like it, to I, be honest. It's... it's it, didn't, it didn't seem awards appropriate appropriate exactly yes. and i was just going to say particularly because she was nominated exactly you know and she ended up winning you oh, know oh she did she did okay. it would have been amazing if she came up on that stage and Looking. everybody everybody thought who is this yeah. girl you know yeah. so i mean she looked cute she looked good just not for the nea so yeah. i'd say see me going forward if you're going to a major event or a major award show particularly one where you are nominated Mated. bring your a game yes like go over the top that's okay. it <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for being here thank Mimi. you for having thank me you. I've please had come fun. again <laughs> just send okay. me a ticket oh wow okay <laughs> okay <laughs> all right guys we're going on a short break now when we get back i'll be joined by dj lambo this is the gist <laughs> guys welcome back so with me in the studio is one of nigeria's baddest female djs arguably the baddest even though we have to talk about unarguably. that unarguably but something <laughs> happened at the neas but before we get into that this is dj lambo everyone and she's signed with chalk city and she's my guest today welcome to the show lambo. thank you thanks for having me thank you for being here please what's your real name uh lamborghini you what? know the car lamborghini. yes i know the car yeah so like my dad really liked the car so he named me after it are you being serious? <laughs> no. <Is> that... <laughs> Don't be messy. No. I just believed you. I just believed you. No, my real name is Alami. Alami. Yeah. And how did Lamborghini? Lamb well, yeah, from Alami, like when I was younger, they used to call me Lam Lam. So okay. Lam Lam, when I got older, just became Lambo, Lamborghini. So, and you like and it? And it just stuck. It stuck. It stuck. Nice. I have no choice. Okay, so mm -hmm. you're in, uh, I don't want to say a male-dominated industry because it really isn't anymore. There are a lot of female DJs, but I want to know how you got into DJing. Um, well, my dad was a DJ. Oh. So, yeah. What was his name? Uh, DJ Tony Lewis. Okay. Yeah, way back. But um, that's not really why I became a DJ, but it just, like, growing up, I always just wanted to be a DJ. But, um... You know, like you said, male dominated. Yeah. And then even at the time DJs weren't given as much recognition as they're being and given respect. right now. So I just had a notion that being a DJ might not be able to pay my bills or you know. So I started out being an OEP. I okay. used to work on the radio and then from there anyway, it just metamorphosized into DJ. DJ. Yeah. Before being an OAP, what were you doing? I was in school. I started to be an OAP even while I was in school. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you're already in the creative industry from way back? Yeah, from time. Oh, wow, nice. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's talk about the NEA Awards. Okay. You were there and yeah. you were at the day party after and you actually DJ. That was my first yeah. time hearing you DJ and it was really cool. But the <laughs> <laughs> the NEH were nominated yeah. in the best female DJ category. Yeah. Let's talk about how the nomination made you feel. Well, I was happy that I was nominated, period. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, because it just goes to show that, you know, all the work I've been putting in all this while is finally being recognized and people are actually seeing, people actually know that, you know, I'm working. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? So I felt really proud that and happy that I was nominated. Okay. That's all. 
So how did you feel about the winning <laughs> of another DJ? Yeah. And you know you sort of started it. Well, you didn't start it, but a lot of people are upset. Like, you deserve <laughs> to win and the other DJ shouldn't have won. Uh, I don't think so. I think, I think she's been putting in a lot of work. And, okay. you know, she just did a... Tour. Co co yeah, yeah, a tour around Africa. Yeah. And, you know, she's putting in a lot of work and she's a good DJ. So, I mean... I'm not saying I don't deserve it, but she deserves it as, as much as I do. Okay. Do you get what I mean? So I'm happy for her, and I hope I win some other <laughs> some award other next awards. time. Yeah. Have you so. been nominated for any other award? Right. Um, the last one I was nominated for just around uh, any year was uh, City People, okay. and I won. So. Oh, nice. Yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> so even if, I was, even if I wanted to ignore it, I can't. Your style. Okay. Let's start with your hair. Please, what inspired <laughs> this... Pink. This is pink, right? Yeah. It it's always uh somewhere in between pink and red. Red, and, yeah. You know, so um basically first time I, I, I got the haircuts and I and I dyed my hair, I wanted to dye red. So but after a while I, I kinda got bored with the red and and then one time the red faded and it became like orangey and then I tried another colour. I tried blue but the blue didn't really show. Okay. It was too dark. So then I tried green, but it seems like everything I try never sticks and it never works out. So, so I always, always keep going back to red and now it has stuck and now everybody just addresses me as the red haired DJ. Red haired DJ. Mm -hmm. How is working with Chalk City? You got yeah. signed by Chalk City yeah. last year. Yeah. How did that happen? Before I got signed to Chocolate City, I was in Loopy Records. That's okay, MIs. MIs. Yeah. So, and basically, at the time, Loopy Records and Chocolate City was pretty much a family already. Okay. So, it was just, the Chocolate City thing was just signing on the paper, really, because I was already, already in Chocolate there. City, yeah, so. There's another Chocolate City DJ, Case. Yeah, DJ Is there Case. any drama between both of you? No, not at all. Like, he was, uh, he, he, when I, when I first moved to Lagos, when I first uh, signed with uh, Loopy Records, I Where used to Where were you before? Abuja. Okay. So I used to work with Case, actually, okay. and uh, Case uh, practically showed me the ropes, you know, like, he, he, he's like, I don't know, I don't know what to say, <laughs> but Case has always been brother there for friend, me, yeah, brother, friend, thing. colleague, everything, he has always, always, always been there for me. Okay, nice. Well, thank you so much for being here. Do you Thanks have any, me. like, word of advice for aspiring female DJs? Well, I mean, don't uh, don't think that it's a male-dominated industry. You can do whatever you want to do. Just stay focused, keep practicing, believe in yourself, believe in your dreams, and you'll get there someday. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Can we have you again on the show? Of course, anytime. This nice. is this is my home. <laughs> <laughs> nice, thank you, Thanks DJ you. Lambo. Everyone will be back after the break. <laughs> show guys thank you so much for watching and thank you mimi and dj lambo for stopping by i wish you guys the very best in everything you do so you guys know now follow us on social media facebook twitter instagram at the gist with toya c phillips and at the gist with tp for twitter yes i'll see you guys next time and remember you can be everything you want to be <laughs>